hello everyone and welcome back to another video and today we are going to solve the problem permutations so this is like one of the most basic uh, problems for the recursion and uh, like a fundamental problem for many uh, recursion based problems that you will solve in the future the question is quite simple we will be given a array integer array and we have to find all the possible permutations of that uh, integer array okay so here i have some boilerplate code since we have to return a result of list of list so i have declared that uh, now the best method to solve this in my opinion is recursion okay so i will show you the method uh, like and i know we require like just a few input parameters in that helper method we obviously require our uh, nums input uh, we require our result array and apart from that we require our starting index so let's just take it as uh, zero now we can uh, also uh, yeah let's uh, yeah so it can be a private method void because we are not returning anything so f is like just a placeholder name for uh, my methods uh, in interviews i would suggest uh, you use better naming but for the sake of this video i think this is fine uh, and then we have result so we will be directly adding or uh, you know uh, whenever we get a result or get a permutation we can directly add it in the result that's why we are not returning anything that's why this is a void method and we will have integer index so what would be the base case in this uh, method okay right so uh, before i write the code i would like just like to discuss what i'm trying to do so for every recursion what i'm trying to do is uh, i will check if uh, our index is uh, equals to the length of our nums right if it is then i know that we have reached the final index and we have uh, like three elements right uh, so we can just take those elements from the nums and we can just add it create a list of integer and add it in our result uh, however you might be curious about why uh, how about how we will go how are we going to get the rest of the permutations right because even if we just increment the index if we just keep incrementing the index we will one two three and we will uh, get to the third index it will uh, and we will uh, hit the base condition and we will add this permutation right the most basic one what happens after that so after that what we can do is now we can just swap each element okay so for example when we are at three we can swap three with itself right when we are at two we can swap two with itself and we can swap two with three right this and so on and so forth so i will i will just show you through the code so first of all our base condition if our index is equals to nums dot length uh, what i can do is i can say list of integer perms permutations short for permutation okay uh, list array list and for integer element in nums I will just add perms dot add or uh, num element, okay, and or result result dot add perms perms result dot add perms, okay, and then return. We don't have to uh, do anything more after this you can just have a simple for loop i will be equals to index i is less than we just need it to be less than length and i plus plus and after that we will use a swap helper method so this is where we find the new permutations okay so what we are going to do is we will pass it our nums array we will pass it i and we will pass it index okay and after that we will call our helper method again recursively nums and result and index we will increment by 1 
once we are done here we can again swap okay so that we reset the previous changes uh, so to say and now we should get our result now the swap method is quite simple like this is the fundamental of programming so i guess i should not be needing to explain this integer term is equals to nums of i right nums of i is equals to nums of j and nums of j is equals to temp so now this is our code let's run it yeah so it works and we are beating 100% of the users in terms of time complexity so yeah what would be the time compl uh, the time complexity is still n into n factorial uh, and the reason behind that is when we are talking about generating permutation of all the numbers right uh, the possible permutation is always n factorial so uh, it if in the cases where we have to generate all the permutations i don't think it is possible to optimize it even further right because we have to generate that many elements so our time complexity is going to be n factorial at least and the remaining n comes from this loop right we are going from i equals to index to nums dot length and initially it would be 0 to length so we can say roughly this is n so n into n factorial so that would be our time complexity in terms of space complexity uh, we are using this extra like uh, the result i don't think we can count as a uh, in that space complexity because that is something we have to return right that is something expected from a function however extra variables when we talk about extra variables we are just using an constant integer index and yeah so i would say constant space complexity so that's it for today's video if you have any doubts any suggestions please uh, do let me know in the comments uh, i read all the comments and i really appreciate the honest feedback